there's two churches. And I'm not talking about visible and invisible church or hidden and revealed church, because those are things we all hear all the time, the hidden, revealed, invisible, visible church. I'm talking about the psychological and the spiritual church. Now, psychological, I'm not talking about like your psyche, but what I mean is we have an image of what we think church should be, what a perfect church looks like. And well, a perfect church is a pastor that preaches for 12 to 15 minutes and it's perfect long gospel and he makes me feel and know with all confidence that I am forgiven. It's filled with the best organ player that somehow a 10 stanza hymn feels like a two stanza hymn, the way it's played. I sing the liturgy and it's always my favorite setting. It's not Divine Service 1. Oh no, I'm kidding. If you're a Divine Service 1 person, that's fine. Or Divine Service 2, 3, 4, or 5. It's that perfect setting. And it's just the, the pews are perfect. I love the stained glass and the people. Oh, that's that's where you get the fun part. The people. Wouldn't it be nice if I could be at a church where everyone just loves each other, everyone forgives each other, everyone sees each other as people bearing burdens. Remember Galatians 6, 2, bear one another's burdens and thus fulfill the law of Christ. That church is just this place I go where everyone is ready to bear burdens and have their burdens borne by me. And we rejoice. We mourn together. We rejoice together. We forgive each other. And we meditate on God's word day and night with each other. That would be fantastic. And it'll be one day, ah, the new Jerusalem. That day will come, my friends. But that perfect church is not here right now because you're in it. Oh, you're in it. <laughs> A church could be perfect, but the moment you go to it or I go to it, it's no longer a perfect church. It's imperfect now because I've brought my sin to it. I've brought my idiosyncrasies, my annoyances, my peeves, all these things I've brought with me through the door, and it's no longer perfect because I'm here. I don't have to get rid of someone else to have a perfect church. I have to be gotten rid of. And guess what? You are. Every Sunday, Jesus gets rid of you. Every Sunday, he gets rid of the annoying people. When your pastor stands there and says, in the stead of by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all of your sins. All of that is gone. The psychological church is that perfect image we make of a church, and it doesn't exist. But the spiritual church is the reality that church is a place for failed, frail, fallen, weak people. Saints who are struggling with their sins, who just need to be told that Jesus loves them. You're going to go to a church and someone's going to be a jerk to you. And sometimes you'll be a jerk to someone else. But Christ doesn't change. Even though the world keeps spinning, the cross stays put. Christ stays put for you. So you and I may jump here and there, hurt feelings or hurt other people's feelings. But Christ will always speak words of forgiveness. So take heart and may every psychological view of the church be drowned in the blood of Jesus so that you may have just the spiritual church that says, you are mine and I am yours forever, says the Lord. God bless y'all.